Hello, welcome to this video on rough skin newts presented by Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. My name is Lauren Berenschmidt and I'm a habitat biologist for the department. Today I'll be teaching you about rough skin newts and some fun facts that make these little critters stand out from all the rest. Rough skin newts are found along the western coast of North America from Juneau, Alaska to San Francisco Bay, California. There are also small populations in Montana and Idaho but they are mostly found along the coast. Newts have been found up to 9,000 feet above sea level. That's the same height as Lincoln Peak in Washington. Rough skin newts get their name for their texture of their skin, which is raised and peppily. Newts spend most of their time on solid ground, living in forested places. You can find them under old logs and other areas that stay damp during most of the year. Newts mostly eat insects, but occasionally have an appetite for other amphibians. Though not much is known about their lifespan, one study found that newts can live up to 18 years old. They're 6 to 8 to inches long, and male newts are bigger and have longer tails than female newts. And during breeding season, their skin begins to change. While spending most of their time on land, during the breeding season and subsequent summer months, rough skin newts will undergo a change. The male skin will smooth and lighten, and their tails will become fat and have a crest. Both male and female newts will migrate from their forest homes to lakes, ponds, and other slow-moving bodies of water. They've been spotted in shallow ditches or as deep as 18 meters below the surface of a lake. Newts will pair up and breed with the male wrapped around the female. He will then release a spermatophore, which the female will use to fertilize her eggs. She will lay her eggs one by one along submerged vegetation, where the eggs will incubate and hatch after three to four weeks. A hatched newt will have gills and will remain in the water for four to five months before emerging and finding a terrestrial home. In high elevations, rough-skinned newts will retain their gills and stay aquatic their whole lives. Because they stay in the water, this means the females will also have the smooth light skin and fat tails that only terrestrial breeding males have. By far the most interesting thing about rough skin newts is that they are poisonous, meaning that if you ingest a newt, you will die. The newts secrete a toxin that attacks the nervous system of the body and causes paralysis. This toxin is similar to a pufferfish or a blue-ringed octopus. Newts will warm predators using their bright orange underside and a pose called the unkin pose. Showing their bright bellies shows the would-be predator that they are not a good meal. I think this picture shows just how clear of a warning that orange is. But still, there is one predator that has found a way around this toxin. The common garter snake is the only known predator to rough-skinned newts. The garter snake has built up a resistance to the toxin, allowing them to eat newts. This has caused what many scientists refer to as an evolutionary arms race. The newts are building up their toxicity while the garter snakes build up their resistance. Sometimes the newt isn't poisonous enough and it will be eaten by a garter snake. A nearby newt will smell that the garter snake ate another newt and will actively avoid that snake or try to synthesize more toxin to try to warn the snake away. It is an incredibly fascinating predator and prey relationship. So now that you know more about rough skin newts, you should try to find your own. During the spring and summer months, newts can be seen in ponds and lakes, breeding, swimming, and hanging around. Go on a walk around your local lake or pond and see if you can spot some newts. Look for a male with smooth, light skin and a fat tail or look for a swimming newt with their limbs pulled to in and zigzagging through the water. Look for an egg cluster. Their gelatinous mass with light brown centers along submerged plants are easy to spot. And see how many newts you can find. You'd be surprised how many can be in a small area. The longer you look, the more you can see. I went out on my own walk just yesterday while working in the forest. I found a small little pond with lots of newts. You can see this one marching along the bottom of the pond. 
and there goes one swimming away from my approach. Thank you for watching this video on rough skin newts. I hope you enjoyed learning about these awesome amphibians that call Washington State home. Go out and see if you can find some of your own rough skin newt friends. And remember to always keep learning about the great outdoors and the fun critters we have here in Washington State.